welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video a very very exciting one one that I wait for all year <laughs> quite frankly and that is today we are decorating for autumn 2024 I'm so excited I've just been getting um, all of the bits out from the basement from the storage room collating all the bits downstairs the things that I've been buying the new in bits and I'm excited to go through everything with you and start putting everything out today. So I do have a couple of things I want to show you first, then I wanna go grab a coffee, then I want to get cracking with the decorating. So if you haven't already, make sure you pause this video, go grab yourselves a nice cozy warm drink, light the candles, all those pumpkin spice candles, put your feet up, relax, and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. So yes, in true Freya fashion, we're gonna start this video with a bit of a haul, but I am gonna speed things up because I know most of you are here for the decorating for autumn, but I just can't help but include a bit of a new in haul. Let's start with Tesco's because I got some gorgeous finds. Firstly, how gorgeous and cozy are these slippers? They were, what well, I sized up in them to an eight, because I tried them on in store and they were quite snug, I guess like, Ugg Tan Tasman, are they called Tasmans? Um, Lookalikes. But they are quite stiff and small anyway, so I would say size up, but these were 14 pounds. They are the color of the season, the coziest fabric ever. So yeah, so happy I got those. I also did get a set of PJs to celebrate the new autumn season incoming. And I thought I would go for this rich chocolatey brown color they are 22 pound 50 but they are white company dupes they are super soft i've had these in the past and some of my go-to favorite pajamas to reach for so yeah i grabbed those and then one other clothing item that i picked up were some cozy joggers these kind of like gray mar ones nice and high-waisted little cuffed ankles but super soft if you can go into tesco's just simply head to the fashion section quickly just detour and feel these they are so so soft they're actually part of the active range but 18 pounds and then this i found in the homeware section how gorgeous is this they also had a really nice casserole dish that matched but i've already got one from matalan but this platter plate is just beautiful i couldn't leave that behind and that was let me find my receipt i think it was 10 pounds yeah, £10. I also found a perfect little trinket dish, not just for autumn, but for all year round, in this kind of scalloped edged dark mango wood. And I keep talking about like a little bowl like this on display on a coffee table with some black and white Polaroids in. And I've got my Fuji film, which I'm going to start taking some Polaroid photos on. And I can pop the seasonal ones in here, you like the pumpkin patch ones and everything like that. And I have actually had some photos printed like that are being sent to me. So maybe that could be cute to have them in there. But anyway, six pounds for that one. Very premature, we're skipping a season here and we're going straight to winter with this one. This gorgeous mug that just says made for winter, two pound 50. Absolute bargain. So that's everything from Tesco's. And then I also popped into the range and I bought a couple of bits. Firstly, this stem, which is definitely, I suppose, like more of a transitional stem. Not necessarily autumn specific, but it's kind of like a dried cosmos spray. And it was $1.99. I loved that. I think I've shown you these on Instagram, haven't I? So I'll whiz through them. But a double oven glove. Ooh, should we do this today? or at some point within a vlog soon. Pumpkin crumble baking kit. I saw these little coffee stencils. I think these were literally two pounds. Tea towels that match the oven gloves. Love this little candle, which is like in a rustic kind of Zara home style pot. And then to pop away for Halloween, because if you don't know, I actually do like a seasonal decorate for autumn, but then any kind of Halloween-y bits, which I don't really go full force Halloween. So it's more just like the week or two leading up to Halloween that I tend to bring those sort of bits out, including these placemats and table runner, which I thought were fab. And these were literally 
a pound 29. They had them in black as well. And then lastly, some new inner fall fashion. I know people hate it when I say fall fashion when it's autumn here in the UK, isn't it? Not. We're not in America. I loved this top so much and I told you guys I was gonna check out the other colors. So I got this dark gray one. I'm not so sure on the gray piping bit. You see how it goes lighter there? So I'm gonna return the gray, but I did also get these two colors, the blues, which are a bit different for me. And then I also went for another kind of like neutral khaki color. I think this one is in the shade Dolphin. I will leave these linked below, but they are the comfiest, coziest, most perfect jumper for autumn ever. They also do the button-up version ones. I'm not sure on the color of this one, so I might return it for a different color. And then this as well is the most gorgeous knit jumper. Again, perfect for autumn season. Definitely stay true to size with free people because there is no need to size up. They're already pretty gigantic. But yeah, we've got some new fall fashion. Oh. Just my favorite time of the year ever. Let's go grab a coffee, let's head downstairs, I'll show you all of my autumn decor for this year, and let's start decorating, shall we? So fire. Okay, are we ready to enter? The autumn grotto. If you can have an autumn grotto, this would be it. Oh my God, it smells amazing in here. It's because I've got some candles in here as well, but this is the selection we're working with this year. We have quite the selection. We've also got some cozy bits as well over on the sofa. So I kind of like we will run through things very very briefly because otherwise we'll be here forever um and kind of like as and when we go as well but there are lots from last year's previous years or from hauls that i've been showing you mostly home sense the range and a couple of smaller businesses but for the most part like i said it is those couple of shops really but yeah oh we have quite the selection. Also, I'm just looking at this wreath here, which is stunning, by the way. That was, was this Matalan, guys? I can never remember the previous years, but I think that was Matalan. I will probably do the porch on another day, like within the next couple of weeks, within a vlog. So I'm not going to do the porch to, as well, like I said, with Halloween as well in October. I will do the porch even more with extra pumpkins, ghouls, ghosts, spiders, whatever we end up doing. I only really do Halloween decor mainly on the porch and mainly the week before Halloween. So porch and wreath door, like front door wreath, that will get switched out at a later date. But I have this wreath, which I think will go on the front door now um, because it's a bit more transitional, a bit more sort of autumn, less pumpkin-y, Halloween-y. Um, but yeah, oh, love everything. I I think my favourite autumn piece that I own is this bowl here that I got from, it's like a dough bowl, like a wooden dough bowl, but in a pumpkin shape. And I got this from Arthur Swallows Antiques Fair, but I think I have found these online, so I will leave it linked. And then if you see anything else, if there's anything specific that you want me to um, tell you where it's from then just pop me a comment below or message me on Instagram and I will get back to you with a link. I feel like I just need to have a moment to just sit in and amongst this and just have a moment of appreciation. Appreciation and gratitude to a few things. We've got this in my hand right here because there's just nothing quite like a PSL. The fact that the time of year, my favourite time of year, the Burr months, we are in September. So, so grateful for that. For you guys, for also just this house, to be able to decorate this house. You know, a few years ago, we were in a very different situation. And even over the last few years of having like renovations and things like that, to be able to have the house now to decorate just fills me with so much joy, gratitude, happiness. Am I high on PSL right now? <laughs> because I feel like it. The only dilemma is where to begin. <laughs> One thing I will say that I'm gonna do this year a little bit differently to how I've done previous years is 
I'm going to, um, with cushions, I'm going to remove the inners of the cushions that I have the autumn cushion covers for and simply cover cushions that I already have and love so that I always have like a nice insert and also it makes for easier storage for um because just cushions just take up so much room don't they so for instance this one i'll probably have to keep because it's more of a bolster i don't have another inner this shape or size but this one from matalan i didn't like the inner so i've decided to take out the inner and use the choppable inner that i already own and just simply pop this over the cushion and then just whip it off when it's not autumn so that's nice easy storage i don't have to store cushions away we've just got cushion covers much much more practical this is probably my second favorite autumn decor piece and i got it from anthropology a couple of years ago but it's a candle snuffer that i just have sat out on a coffee table book but with a little pumpkin i love that yeah so i've got this dough bowl which is like just a longer simple one that i could use all year round so i might not even necessarily use all of these bits especially like these things which aren't necessarily autumn themed but i thought i would just get them out from storage anyway also i might do a little switch up with some artwork i thought that would be a nice way to inject some autumn decor on the walls by doing a little switch out of some artwork this one's from home sets it came with this print and i feel like the fields and everything kind of give the sort of country vibe the autumn vibe anyway but i have ordered and they'll probably come within a vlog soon i've ordered some photos and some prints to um pop within some frames of like black and white photos color photos of like previous years autumn pictures so like with barney pumpkin patches me and tom so yeah that should be um as soon as they arrive that should be a nice little way to again kind of style up the shelves a little different with just the standard photos that are already in there just put some autumn photos in and i might do the same for christmas as well anyway i need to stop rambling i need to have another sip and i need to get cracking i'm gonna start with popping a fireplace on the tv for a bit of atmosphere So we have this bowl which ordinarily has, um, well sometimes it's just sat empty like this just as a little display bowl. At Christmas I like to have Christmas chocolates in there, Quality Street, Heroes, whatever it may be. And for autumn I thought about lint um, but then I found these in B&M for a pound and they're these five pack of individually wrapped Reese's pieces and I thought the colour theme kind of goes for autumn so I'm going to just <laughs> fill up with Reese's. one of these um, Febreze bathroom things that you just press and leave in the bathroom in a new fragrance and it's in Enchanted Forest. It's kind of like berries, woodlandy. Um, so yeah, I thought I would pop this, kind of like hide it behind the toilet. Then I have this mini candle. I usually have a small candle just sat here so that when we've got guests over we can burn that so it smells lovely in here and then I'm also going to switch out the little hand towel I've got this pumpkin one which is so cute this was from Asda um so I'm going to take these bung them in the wash So 
So another thing I like to do is do a candle switch out as well. So anywhere that I had candles, anywhere that I feel like could have a candle, I replace it. So the only thing with these shelves is I don't actually burn them here just to avoid marking the top of the paintwork. So I kind of have it there until the one on the island is burnt out and then I take this one over to the island and start burning it. So yeah, also these kind of, of the photos that I'm gonna be replacing when the um, photos arrive, the ones that I've ordered with the more like pumpkin patch photos so that again, it's less beach and more cozy autumn feels. I also have this big bowl here, which I got from a small independent shop called Moth. Um, and it has some potpourri already in it, but this has been out for, I think that was last year's or maybe Christmas potpourri. I know you can spritz it or put some oils on there. So I might just do that or I might add some fresh potpourri in there as well. I'm trying to decide which oven glove and tea towel I'm gonna to have as my kind of display one for now. And I've obviously got the ones that I showed you from the range with the little pumpkins on. And then I also have these from Sophie Allport, which are kind of, well, they've got little sunflowers on. And I'm swaying towards this because this is kind of like, just for these next couple of weeks, whilst we're still in that transitional period, we are still in summer officially, but let's not mention that. Um, so I thought it'd be quite nice to maybe have the sunflowers, kind of like September sunflowers, and then in a couple of weeks time, I could then switch out to some pumpkins and then obviously Halloween, we can do something even different. So, and also I love the kind of, I prefer the, the tones to this one, the kind of earthy, neutral, natural, linen-y fabric. I, there's something about these range ones, the ones from the range. Not this tea towel, because this tea towel's fine, it's just plain, simple pumpkins, but it's the, it's the bright green that I'm a bit like, well, it's not bright green, is it, but light green. Oh, it's quite nice, actually. But on display, there's gonna be quite a lot of green, if you have it sort of, I tell a lie! We have all pumpkins on one side. Okay, I love that. But obviously to use these oven gloves, it's that way round. So you would have the, the green on show. But I think I might pop them that way round. But yeah, for now, I still want to pop out the Sophie Allport ones instead in the lovely sunflowers. I actually got this one in the sale. I bought these a while ago, I just haven't got them out yet. Love them. I feel like it should go that way around because of the little tab sticking out there. Beautiful. 
do we like? They have some more festive ones as well, so I do think I might treat myself this year to maybe some more festive ones for when we get to Christmas, because I do, I like that natural linen. Oh, so happy. So then the tea towel that we have here that we actually use to dry pots and our hands and everything with, this tea towel that we use all the time here, it needs to go in the wash anyway, but I'm gonna switch out to one of these ones. I picked these ones up from HomeSense, but this is the brand. Br Brickend, Brickenty. Or do we just go with the other one that came with it, just a plain, Stripe. Is that a bit more of a clash to the sunflowers? Yeah, maybe let's stick with the the stripes for now. But yeah, I always like to have one there. In fact, I might even pop it instead of hung up on there because the tab doesn't easily um, go over that one. I might just third it, third it again. Oh, there is a tab actually here, but yeah, it, look, it looks quite long. Yeah, it touches the floor. So what I would do is fold it in sort of like around about a third and then again into thirds and then I'll just pop it over the sink like that so it doesn't sit in the water of the sink it just kind of folds over but it just sits against the sink like so. I also have this pantry sign which I really want to pop up um, I showed it in a vlog recently I got it from home since I want to pop it up there but I don't think command strips are going to work because of those bits that stick out. I could unscrew them actually. See how that looks up. Up there. Is this not just the absolute cutest thing you've ever seen? Teeny tiny little pumpkin. Anyway, I've decided to just pop one bag of the potpourri in because I don't feel like we need two. It smells lovely, I have to admit. It's in the scent, well it just says pumpkin potpourri from the range this one. I think it was only a couple of pounds as well per bag, maybe 2 .99. And it smells fab. Really, really impressed with this. So I'm gonna switch out these bowls here. I love those bowls anyway, but I think that would just be a nice replacement. And then I can always just pop the bowls back there um, after, after autumn. Or does it look a little bit lost there? Maybe actually it might be better up here. Can move this somewhere else. And just keep these bowls out for now here. I was trying to show you this lovely new wicker pumpkin, but guys, 
I was carrying this pumpkin. Banged my finger, but yeah, I don't think I've cut it. I've just smashed this. Completely smashed. There is zero saving that. Well, if you wanted to know what I was gonna use that for, and what I might, if I find another one to replace it, I was gonna use this for in the pantry where we've got a glass jar with some dog treats in. I was gonna switch them out and pop them in here, but that's not happening anymore. Just had a delivery from Nespresso. Had I have not just had a coffee from Starbucks, I'd have been straight into one of these, but yeah, maybe I have to have one first thing in the morning. But I ordered, can we see the orange? I ordered some of their new pumpkin spice cake flavored coffee pods. So I, I usually go for decaf, to be honest with you. They don't do this in a decaf form. I did get a couple of decaf pods as well. Um, and then also I've got just a couple of other varieties. We've got some, the Barista Creations chocolate one, the Porto one, and India. So all, if I want to pop them in jars, on theme, stopped up on loads of the pumpkin spice cake ones. I'm pretty sure they didn't do pumpkin spice cake in this pod, they only did it in the other pod last year. So I don't think I've ever tried this one before, but I thought we could just get a little glass jar out to pop within the, uh, the door of the larger unit, so kind of like open pantry. We'll just stick with two boxes for now. My new coffee pods. So for now, we'll just pop it in here. And um, there's a nice little space up here for them. I usually just keep coffee pods loose up there. We've got quite a few already, but there's some that I need to um, get rid of. I find the dupe versions, like I like Nespresso pods and I like Starbucks. Any other ones, they don't seem to work on the machine very well. So I'm gonna get rid of them and yeah, replace them with all these new ones that I've bought. But I thought we could have the orange ones out for everyday use. And then we've also got a little gingerbread syrup and a salted caramel. I've not got a pumpkin syrup because I haven't found a full sugar one. I find the skinny syrups aren't as good. So I'm just sticking with these ones for now. And also they're a really good size, these ones to have within my pantry unit. These aren't the most aesthetic, are they? Also got my autumn mugs up there. And I could do with doing another sort of reorganize and rejig in here to be completely honest with you. But that's how it's looking if ever you wanted to see a real life what my larder unit and coffee cupboard looks like. It's basically just excessive amounts of mugs. <laughs> So far then, look at the sunshine coming out as well. It's not kind of autumn vibes, although a nice sunny autumn day is beautiful. So I'm not complaining. And it is still cool enough to be able to wear knitwear. So I'm in this cozy knitwear. Of course, this man's joining me, seeing as though it's spider season. I saw it earlier and I was like, made me jump, but I was like, could I be brave enough to just grab that and put him outside? Too much. I've got a Neptune Spring Directory here. We'll use this. I wonder if we've got an Autumn Winter 2024 one out. I'll have a look online and get that ordered if you haven't already. Here's your reminder. Oh, it's just too small. I can't I need to start. I need something bigger. So if it drops, what do I do? <sighs> Breathe in. And out. Oh, and they spring. 
spread out and go massive. Oh, where is he? Do you know what? If he's behind there, I might be happy leaving him there. I'm not venturing into a pot to get him. Oh my goodness. Oh. Well, fail. I knew it would drop. Little mini tour of where we're at so far. We've got a little pumpkin down here from Home Sense. My table scape for um, like non dining times, AK just like day to day. I've got this linen table runner from Wilco's. These were Dunelm, I think. The dough bowl was from Arthur Swallow's Antiques Fair. Little mini pumpkins in there. Little pumpkin blanket over here. I did have the pumpkin cushion on Barney's bed, but I've decided you can't take the cover off to wash it. So on a dog bed, we need things that are easily going in the wash. Then on the sofa area, we have the pumpkin cushion in the middle. I'll be playing around over the next couple of weeks and shifting things and sorting things out and rearranging, but I like to faff with this kind of thing. But for now, we've just popped this tray to kind of break up from the autumn print. This throw is from Target. It's so, so cozy and soft. This one, was that a Primark one? I can't remember. Oh no, maybe Home Sense actually. Candle from Home Sense in Woodland Leaves. We have our bowl full of Reese's peanut butter cups. Little woven pumpkin there. And um, some dried florals up there. Maybe even, will that one go up there? Does that one look better up there? Yeah, for now, I think that will, see what I mean? Faffin. Then we've got this candle, autumn leaves. Some of the next potpourri in here with a little candle. Obviously my little mini pumpkins, which are just the cutest thing ever. I've switched out the tray for this display. It's like a server platter from the one I showed you from Tesco's, but I quite like it as the little tray for on the island. So we've got salt and pepper pinch pot. These are from the White Company. Then this candle, Autumn Winds. I actually, I was just thinking then, I've got a autumn themed salt and pepper, I think. So I might even switch that out. I haven't even got to the kitchen stuff yet because I actually keep the kitchen stuff not in the storage room. I keep it up here. So I just throwed those in there that I was talking to you about earlier. But this whole shelf here is autumn seasonal decor. The top one is Christmas. And this one is more spring and summer. See all of these within vlogs. That's the Matalan casserole dish that I was talking to you about. But then on the shelf, I've added some faux foliage. I think this one was from Dunelmore Matalan. A home sense candle in cedar embers. We've also switched out this candle to the apple cider one. The range, this is from, I'm pretty sure that was only a few pounds and it comes with the leaves, the dried grass in it. Uh, what else have we got on here? Obviously the new, um, tea towel and oven glove. For our pantry sign up, I had a bit of a sort out of our pantry recently, so I'll just show you how it's currently looking, but we've got um, toaster, a couple of random bits. I might even switch this candle out. It's my favorite scent, vine tomato. I might switch that out for an autumny scent to pop in here. I haven't even burnt that one yet. It's just <laughs> so nice. I just don't want to burn it, but I will do because I hate wasting candles and I don't like the idea of a candle going off or losing its scent and then you've not even got to burn it. So I will burn it, but yeah, for now, it's just sat there. And then we've got our KitchenAid air fryers, the um, Zara bin, which I recently got. So I basically popped in, decanted Barney's food into here and his treats in there. And then um, we've got this Zara stand with open shelf storage with are uh, kind of like onions. We usually have like potatoes in the bottom, tomatoes, corn, whatever we've got seasonally, we just keep out here. I may tomatoes in the fridge girly, but Tom insists they are better out the fridge. Let me know, are you in or out the fridge with tomatoes? I feel like the majority will say in the fridge. These are organic homegrown though. They're not supermarket bought. And then we've got the little wooden stand from Home Sense. These are just like some handy uh, shopper tote bags that I grab and go when I'm doing a bit of a supermarket shop. I need to buy an adapter. Um, I need to, to use it upstairs and I've not brought it down since, so this hasn't been switched on, but we need to get this guy back up and running because it's just so handy. We've got his little mat there. The bowl is from Zara and then that one is from Dalesford. The mat is from Home Sense. And then obviously in our downstairs loo, we've got the 
Oh, it smells lovely. That Febreze one, I have to just open the door then. I got hit with it. It's very fruity actually, the berries scent. Little maple pumpkin candle and towel there. And then on this little console table, I've added the Hobbycraft wooden pumpkin and some foliage from HomeSense. We've also got Autumn in the, the diffuser, which I picked up from the White Company. I did also pop to Bath and Body Works and got a new candle, but I'm gonna let the other ones burn first. But this scent, it's like a classic for me. It's the leaves scent that uh, they do. Quite often bring them out in different packaging and things, but it's always the same scent. This one's in like a really dark brown pot. I also picked up a um, pumpkin latte. I oh, know, what's it called? Marshmallow pumpkin latte cleansing gel hand soap. Oh, we also got a little hand sanitizer at the checkout again in that scent. For the season in leaves. I also got some cozy. These will probably come out within the next, again, couple of weeks before we um, are needing these. But these are just a go-to for me in winter. These Teddy Sock um, slippers, they've got the little grippers on the bottom, but these, instead of a slipper, when it's like a whole boot and they're comfy to like get on the sofa with. I also picked up these from Dunelm just to throw in my drawers. They're only four pounds, these scented drawer liners. I thought sandalwood sounded lovely. I also picked up one of these air fresheners that they do. I've got one in my car currently, but I'm gonna switch out for a pumpkin one. So, popped into Hotel Chocolat and they had all of their autumn bits out and some new scents, or a brand new scent that I've never tried before. They had the Pumpkin Spice Hotel Chocolat hot chocolate sachets, but I have had that one. Um, so I thought I would try this new one in Pecan Cinnamon Danish. I need to get some squirty cream, so that's gonna be in another vlog. That's not a today job, plus it is when I'm filming this. <laughs> It's sunny. You just can't get cozy in the sunshine, can you? So I just feel like I need to appreciate the sun whilst it is here and get cozy when it goes. Um, but again, I also popped to the White Company and got that new autumn oil. Um, but they also have another oil, new one, or new scent, called Samphire and Sea. Quite a nice transitional. I might even save this, actually, this scent for a, um, for like next spring, summer, because it is quite, It's deep, which I like, but still kind of, it's like a good spring summer scent that's a bit deeper than just something like a Seychelles. I've also got a new scent coming out. I've seen online called Kyoto Oud. Sounds amazing. I thought I would stick with the old classic autumn scent and I do start burning through candles quite a bit. I Even now I've got the doors open, the back doors open to let in fresh air, but I've got candles burning. I just, I just, I love candles burning, okay? So I do get through them. Unlike my mother, if you're watching, mum, well, I'm a bit shiny, aren't I? I've done my makeup a bit heavier today. I feel like I don't recognize myself in the viewfinder. I think just because I put on some brown eyeshadow. But I don't know if it's very me, it's a bit heavy, especially for just day to day. But anyway, the autumn set's quite a fruity one, actually. It's in pear, quince, and apricot. So again, for these kind of end of, summer days it's a really nice transitional scent obviously looks lovely because it says autumn but it is quite fruity and light have you guys decorated for autumn have you been doing it along with me today in today's video if you haven't and you're wanting to then maybe just save this video for when you do decorate pop me on in the background and we can decorate together but otherwise i'm going to close off today's video here thank you so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed and taken some inspiration from this video let me know by giving me a thumbs up subscribing for more and i will hope to see you all very very soon in my next video bye guys